Hi, this is Lucy, and if you are wondering where I have been for the last few weeks, I do have regrets, I must admit. It's because I decided to build my own Iron Mountain anvil. This turned out to be quite complicated. <laughs> so, this is something you are interested in. Please stay tuned. So this is the iron anvil prefab, iron mountain anvil, I can't even remember what it's called now. It is a really nice prefab, it's very attractive, it's got a lot of nice detailing on it. You can't unfortunately shut these shutters. It is two and a half wide at the base, um, but the top part is only too wide so the downsides well a it's a prefab and if you like building it is basically like buying a jigsaw puzzle that's already made there is no fire in here I have seen a few videos about giving you rather complicated instructions on how to get um, a pre-made fireplace in here I did actually manage to get just the base fire on a doormat in there without too much hassle and the doormat does go underneath this part so you can't see it obviously there are no separate rooms in here I do love these stairs but if you want a bathroom then I'm sorry you have to go pee in a bush and the other thing I've heard from people that have used this is that it's very fragile so one bite or uh, shot from an enemy and the whole thing just disappears I have that thing going on where you have one enemy every five minutes I've I, this is the second take of this because I just kept so hopefully that was the last one so this is my version of it obviously I only made it too wide I have tried to replicate most of the sort of detail in it. If you're wondering why it was so complicated, this foundation has six walls on it, two at the bottom and four on the top. So yeah, it, it was very complicated. And when I originally built it, I thought there's no way I would be able to do a build video of this. And then me being me, I have absolutely no patience for all those people that say I'm patient. I'm actually incredibly stubborn. Um, decided I was going to do it, try it anyway. So eight videos later, hence me being missing for three weeks. <laughs> I have done a build video. It is over an hour. So I'm going to release the build video as a separate build video. So you don't have to even, you know pretend to sit want to sit through it if you don't want to overall I am fairly happy with it um, I have learned quite a few tricks in this I didn't know that you could put two walls under here it means having different height foundations the build order is is ludicrously insane um, I have put these pavilion roofs under here. I have overlapped the roofs so that they are only one and a half here. Like on this one, the roof on this side is higher. If you wanted to make it even more insanely complicated, I guess you could overlap your foundations to make it two and a half wide at the bottom. Although I think you would struggle to get the underpinnings on. So we have this nice tire path. I will show you how to do that in my video and I always put timestamps in so if you just want to know how I did one thing you can just look that up. Now I obviously wanted to use the shutters on the base set um, but I didn't want to put wallpaper on the outside so this is double walled 
um, but it's just double walled with the base set and I have got glass in the windows so let's have a look inside I went for something fairly traditional. If somebody has noticed, yes, apparently since I re-imported this, I am missing a piece of glass in here and I have absolutely no idea why. I'll have to double check on my one on my on the adventure because there was definitely a window in there at some point. <laughs> I used this fireplace, the stone fireplace. This stuff under the stairs is the rug and conduit trick that Vlad pretty much invented for me because I needed it for a build. Um, I will put a link to his video down below. I didn't do it in a doorway. You can actually do it, put the conduit in the space between two walls. I use this um, mindset ramp because we don't really have any nice wooden stairs that would, or sort of, you know, traditional stairs. Now, ordinarily, in something like this, I would use mats to fill in this space because I use roofs for the upper floor. But I realised that I could actually use a stone fireplace, so I merged two together to make it wider. And you can just step up here onto the roof. There's no glitch there. I did put a bathroom in and I used bookcases to fill the gap at the end here. I just merged two together facing so that you have flat sides on both sides. This dormer was a bit complicated. Um, because obviously if you just use the one window which would be in the middle, you you wouldn't have a window here so I use the three that come with the contemporary set so overall I am pretty happy with it it was a giant pain though if you want to replicate this if you want to follow the build video it is an advanced build um, there are a lot of very advanced techniques and some of them I go through quite quickly because they're things I've used before. This little decoration on top of the um, shutters was basically a trick I learned from Amacastio or Amacasteo. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, he showed how to merge uh, two blackboards, chalkboards together. You basically well, watch the build video. I will list it as something I show you how to do briefly. <laughs> it's just two back to back. You create a blueprint and then I was trying to replicate this this decoration above the window and it's sort of got a similar shape. So I used it on a few of the windows. If you don't have it, don't want it, you could use some of the Helvetia window covers. So yeah. I think my next video, I've actually already built something else and I'm planning to start today on a third build because if you haven't noticed, we can now have more camp slots. I have been really struggling lately. On Scarlet, I haven't done a build video. I hadn't been planning to do any more build videos on Scarlet despite her being my main build character because she has more plans because I don't want to scrap any of those camps, but now I don't have to. So this is why I've been doing so much on Nora lately, because, yeah. <laughs> and I have actually already scrapped a couple of camps that I would rather not have. So this gives me some breathing room anyway. So, yes. So, if you're interested in building this, look out for the build video. It'll be out in a few days, hopefully. I still have to do the timestamps. I have edited the video. Um, so I should get that out in a few days hopefully. Barring cat sickness, my mother, all the other things <laughs> that go on in crazy, my crazy life. So yeah. Anyway, that is all from me today. Thank you for watching.